Welcome everyone, it's Andrew for iDownload Blog with 12 of the top features for the Apple Watch Series 2. We've done other breakdowns for the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6s, so at now let's take a look on the Apple Watch. Starting off on the Series 2 model is the new brighter screen. Now it does seem that this screen is closer to the glass than it was in the past, but that's been really not confirmed. It just seems like that, and it could seem like that because of how much brighter it is. The new screen is more than double, going from 450 nits on the original Apple Watch on the right to 1000 nits, so a whole lot brighter. Though you're not really going to notice that brightness until you're outside in that direct sunlight, but it is significantly brighter than it was in the past. Swimming workouts. There are two new workouts exclusive to the Apple Watch Series 2, and that is the pool swim and the open water swim. When you are doing a pool swim, first you have to tell it the length of the pool in yards. So you do have to have a rough idea of the size of the pool. Then you can basically start your workout like you would in any other workout. So how, based on the distance, just open goal or number of calories that you're looking to burn. Open water swim is different. So instead of doing laps in a pool, in this case, you're doing something in the ocean, just swimming in the ocean or something like that. So you two, two different workouts if you're into swimming. To go along with that new, brighter, gorgeous screen is a new graphics processor. Graphics now are twice as fast as they were in the last generation Apple Watch. So you're gonna notice a lot of improvements here, whether you're doing like things like playing games or checking out the sky with new Night Sky 4 on the Apple Watch. So things are a lot smoother, a lot faster than they were in the past. Nike bands. There's a new special edition Apple Watch in the Series 2 models that are these new Nike ones, and they do have some really cool bands. Unfortunately, they are exclusive to these, but there are four different colors, you know, like the green and black, the black and dark gray, the light gray and the white, and then like the green and that, and that light gray. So there are some really cool bands if you pick up one of the Nike editions. Water resistance. Now, of course, we do have those swimming workouts, so how are you really gonna swim if there's no water resistance? Well, there is in series two before, you could shower with it, you could you know splash it, it was fine. But in the new second generation Apple Watch, you can actually just completely swim with it. You can go down 50 meters. So it has 50 meter water resistance, perfect for swimming in the pool, though they don't recommend scuba diving. Now, one of those big issues with water is that water gets into all the nooks and crannies, notably the speakers. So when you finish a workout here, first the screen is locked. You have to turn that digital crown to unlock the screen and you actually can hear it quite loudly. It'll actually eject the water from the speakers whenever you get out of the water. So whenever you stop a pool workout and it's you know back on, back on land, it will just blast using audio sound waves to just expel all the water that's been stuck into that speaker chamber. So very small, but a really neat feature that's gonna keep your Apple Watch working great. Moving on, we have a new Taptic engine inside of the second generation Apple Watch. It basically just taps a little bit better and a little bit harder than it has in the past. It's more accurate than it also was, and you're gonna notice those Taptic feedbacks many places throughout the system, either third-party applications or, of course, in the UI itself. When you kind of force touch on the screen, you'll feel it kind of you know, tap you when you go in, when people send you different things through messages. And if you do go into settings, go down to sound and haptics, you can turn down or turn on prominent haptic, which will tap you even uh, more, more prominently than it would without that turned on. So if you really want to feel that even more, make sure you turn that on, though that was in the last generation watch. Battery. Now this is a little bit fuzzy because Apple still claims it has an 18 hour battery life, which is great, perfect, fine but that is the same as the last generation. Though the battery actually is longer because it has a built-in GPS, if you don't use that GPS really for anything, you will get a little bit more battery life out of your Apple Watch. Just like those specific bands that are exclusive to the Nike version, there are also Nike exclusive watch faces. So just a small thing, if you do pick up one of the Apple Watch that are the Nike editions, they do come with special watch faces that you can't get on any of the other models. So they are very similar, they're very easy to read when you're running and um, putting a lot of the information that a runner would like to see front and center. So just some exclusive watch faces on the Series 2 Nike edition. 
the USB adapter. A small thing, but the original Apple Watch did not include a USB adapter, so you had to provide your own. Now, pretty much everyone had some form of USB charger, whether from your phone, on your computer, wherever it may be, but the new one does include one. As a bonus feature, the cord that's included is also shorter. It was really long before, and now it's a much more manageable size, which was uh, a very nice benefit. Alongside that water resistance, the other big feature in the Apple Watch Series 2 was GPS. So third-party developers can get in here, they can use that GPS for a variety of different things, but Apple also takes advantage of it in the native workouts app. So if I go ahead and go for a run outside, it'll actually plot my map inside of the workout application, and it'll show it here inside of the activity app on my iPhone. It'll even color code my run so I can see where I was faster, where I was slower, where I paused. So I got a lot of good feedback here. So you'll have Apple's implementation and third-party developers can tap into it as well. The S2 processor. So there are two new processors here on the actual Apple Watch Series 1, which is a new version of the original one. It comes with the S1P which is like a powerful one. It has a newer, a newer processor built into there, but the same graphics as before. And then the actual Apple Watch Series 2 has the new S2 processor, so much faster as well as the better graphics than the other one. So new processor makes the Apple Watch itself feel very, very speedy. So that is it, 12 top new features on the Apple Watch Series 2. Let us know what you think down in the comments or if we've maybe forgotten one of the big features please go ahead and click on that subscribe video for more great videos. Otherwise, until next time, it's Andrew for iDownloadBlog.